Bluetooth seems to come as standard these days and the Nexus 7 is no different. That makes sharing files between Bluetooth devices a simple task. So I'm going to show you how to transfer something from another device to the Nexus 7. First of all, you need to pair the two devices together. To do this, you need to turn on Bluetooth on both devices. On the Nexus 7, that's done by swiping down from the top right of any home screen and choosing Bluetooth. When you switch on Bluetooth on the Nexus 7, it will search for any visible Bluetooth devices, so make sure your other device is visible. After a few seconds, the Nexus 7 should find the other device, press on it and it will confirm the device you are trying to pair to with a passkey. If they both match, press OK and they will be paired forevermore. Now it's time to transfer some files from one device to the other. In this example, I'm going to send a picture from the mobile phone to the Nexus 7. Most applications, such as the gallery, will include a share or send button. Press on it and choose the Bluetooth option. This will take you to the device's Bluetooth screen. You will now be able to select the device you previously paired to and that should automatically start sending the file to the Nexus 7. Now the Nexus 7 needs to accept the file that's been sent to it. So scroll down from the top of the screen and you should have a notification for file transfer. Press on it and choose accept and the file will start sending from the mobile phone to the Nexus 7. If you swipe down from the top of the screen again, you can watch the progress of the file as it's transferred. Once the transfer is complete, you can press on a notification and that will take you to the Bluetooth file transfer list. Press on it and then choose an application to open the picture and voila, we now have a picture transferred from the mobile phone to the Nexus 7. For later reference, you can see what files have been received via Bluetooth by scrolling from the top right of the home screen, choosing Bluetooth, and in the top right hand corner, there is a show files received option. Alternatively, if you have a file browser application, all Bluetooth files are stored in the Bluetooth folder. Of course, Bluetooth has many practical uses beyond file sharing, but this basic video should help get you started. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.